guys, it's Rosco here. I'm going to do a PvP pet battle video. Um, I'm going to be using this team calling Mr. Roboto. It's done alright. I mean, some of these games, not that many, but some were doing last week, um, which was pet week. So, a little, probably a little bit higher. It's probably about 70% team. Let's try. Um, I'm not optimistic about its chances if the meta is really strong. Cool, but it is just Chris's teams. Yeah, I'm not optimistic. Let's see. Let's see what he's going to do. Cool, that's fine. Just, <laughs> just take that off, all of, all of them. I mean, hopefully, he's not running that darkness. Well, he is. Okay. I'm wanting to try and outspeed me. So I want the synergy to to get off now. I mean, I, I kind of need it to. So. So it's going to really damage his backline, guys. Uh, those doubles are not what I want. Okay, well, I can 100% get him. Interesting. I'm going to hope that I survive. This hits low. And yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Cool, I'm gonna kill this rat. And unfortunately this poor guy's quit a team. Yeah, it's not gonna not gonna do well. We did blue of the speed and stuff, the weather. So it's an okay start. It looks like um the family baller teams are still about. Uh, I have done, I've done, I think I've done most of the videos for it, um, probably will post them at some point, I mean I've done the achievement, I, I did it a few days ago, but uh, I don't know, like the, a lot of the videos are just, uh, I'm sure if people have done it, that you, you'll kind of know, just meeting kind of, um, the matchups and stuff, so like with people running away, you're just getting really difficult games. So there's not much quality games in there. I'll have to look through to see which, which, and if there's anything decent. Okay, so I mean, it's the, it's exactly this. So. Because I don't want to queue into that guy <laughs> loads and just have him either kind of run away or something like that. Let's go with something that would be good against him. I mean, the difficulty is I really struggle in trying to play something that's fair against it, but not ridiculous, and I'll just go like overboard. Um. Fuck, stop. Yeah, it's difficult. I, I, should I just hold fire? Like, something like that would be really difficult to beat it. I wonder if I've got any Tarnachon teams, because they would... But he's running refuge, and I can't be bothered to sort of mess around with that. Do I have any 
kind of other cyclone teams. I'll tell you what I was playing. And I only one team. Alright, let's go. So this jungle grub's actually quite fun. With the uh the damage buff and the racial is kind of doing fifty percent extra damage for a fair whack. Um maybe it would do great against this rabbit team. Maybe it would do okay. Okay. Completely random team. Let's chuck this guy in first. So, um, like when you're playing against moths, if if these sleeps land, then you you're really in trouble. It's like um. A massive kind of one up. That's okay though. Do I kind of want to save this guy's racial? Nah. If he lands a second sleep, I'm going to say it's a good game. There we go. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, this moth. It's going to. The, the moth getting those two procs is going to be enough to beat me. Because I just have no. No way to really kind of get into the game. Okay, same speed. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass. Let's win this coin toss, shall we? I mean, this, this is an, <laughs> an un unlucky game. For sure. Let's, um... Let's go for this. And then, hopefully, he won't kill me. If I was him, I'd go for that. And then the, um, the Alpha Strike. Okay, let's land that for that little bit of extra damage. I think what's that? Four out of five have slept me. Like, moths are like super RNG pets, and this time it's really gone in his favour. So, yeah, I mean, I, I've had that happen to me a few times where I've just <laughs> lost out on the, the RNG. Unfortunately, Sneaky Darts is just. Not done well for me there, so. Yeah, let's go up. There's the fox team there, wasn't there, with a, um. What was it with? It was with a familiar. Foxed up. He 
So now this is a team that I do think is going to be really good. Let's let's go with this. So this was a team that I thought was going to be really good. Uh, why? Because there's some great synergy. So the the familiar can get down. It's what or the uh, the weather. So that you can get the the roll of the weather and it buffs it kind of it works great with this pet. I mean this is just like tagged on. I mean maybe you have something healy here. Um possibly like a, a frost ghost wolf. So frost wolf ghost pup. Okay. Great. So Let's hit him hard now. Change whoever on the next round. <laughs> Man, that's taken a beating. Okay, so let's swap to this. Just get as much of this flurry damage down as possible. Now let's start this up. Oh, that's frustrating. Did that hit low or... 280. I think it did. Okay, maybe it's still, still not, not gone. Mana surge two eighty. Yeah, hit low. Okay. I kind of want to save this guy, so you can get swapped out in a second. So that stun is never going to work on me. And cool, he's messing around with the um. So I want to get my racial up. Of course, yeah, the stun won't work under the, the weather. What's this going to do? Um, because I've got my racial living box, I'm going to stick with this for now. Um, because he may well go for that staggered steps. What kind of damage is that going to do? I'm trying to get that, <laughs> that double moth team. Um, I do like the synergy in this team. What team is this even in? It's, it's in fun. I mean, I don't know how well it would do against something serious. Also, I'm debating going for the, the damage increase on the Gorger. And possibly dropping the, the foxling there. Okay. Okay, let's start with this. Um, 
because I know that he runs Refuge and Cool Darkness. So let's get this weather effect changed. Oh, it's still quicker. Let's take that all away. Now I'm quicker. Okay. Just burst him now. Yeah, this team is pretty unlucky. Let's see what we can do. No triple. Okay, what are these speeds? Still quick. I'll kill it on the back line. I'm just going to keep at this. And then what is he going to dodge me? I'm hoping this is going to be okay now. Cool. I can get the speed up. I can get the crouch up. And now that I don't think there's any kind of chance of him swapping. Actually, let's swap to this. So I may go down here, but the fox in the back. I do kind of think that this is what the meta is going to be for a while. It's just people, especially now, it's less forgiving than last week. I did try something similar. Might get the fox. I mean, I'm glad I had the fox there, to be honest. Because the speed essentially made those pet those um those critters useless. Didn't really didn't really play that smart. I mean, it didn't have the best um type of phosphor. Maybe he wanted some stronger damage. I'd imagine it was running um. I don't even know if it ever used the the other ability. I'd imagine it was running the sneaky bite. Is it sneaky bite? I'd imagine it was running that. Otherwise, we weren't typing. Frost. Sneak attack. So I'd imagine he's running that. So that it's on this. It's on this exact read actually. So um. At least he had something to hit a bit harder than just the flowy. Because you're kind of like one emperor kind of away from a bad day. Otherwise with that, that rabbit team. But he never really found out. Just because of the fox. I thought the fox could have done enough on that team. This is good, this pet. Um, is it the fastest... Mana Surge user it is by some distance. Then having the flurry as well. 
It's definitely a pet I've taken a shine to. It's just that the awkward kind of it shredded some attack power for health on a magic pet. Oh wow, well, there is a, a HH that you could, could get if you were that into it. Yes, yeah, so these are in the new area, but yeah, it's, it's quite cool. I mean, I would prefer, like, if Deflection was in this middle slot, but then it would be an extremely good pet, and everyone would play it. Yeah, here's the other one, so, it runs a uh, Fell Emulate instead, I mean... Yeah, I'd almost certainly always run Flurry on this guy. You just then at the mercy of the the three two five speed kind of thing. But um, Mana Surge in this quick pair. I mean, you saw um, against the Idle, it did just to just lose out. Um, but that was just bad luck. We hit it like two eighty. So it's just the range, and that's kind of why I'm debating. I have debated going Ant Magic. But if I was going to go Ant Magic, maybe you'd have something else like a um, the Minefield user or something on the team. So you'd run that with a, a Minefield user or like a... Um, like something with like a Sticky Grenade or even a Haunt. Because then you're buffing the damage of that. Maybe even like Backline Damage. Then you're buffing the damage of that to kind of utilize it or volcano you could possibly weave that in i mean you're losing the stun element so you're losing out there um curse of doom or something if you ever change effect would be nice like a valk possibly but it's a lot of setup to get it down minefield could be better because you're kind of getting your, your damage and stuff down into your burst into yeah, imagine if you can kill someone on that burst, then they're coming in 50% extra minefield. I think maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll try that. Probably on one of the PP ones. Because some of these, so there's a couple of these PPs. That could be interesting, I mean. Ant Magic Mana Surge. Minefield kind of combo. So you amp magic into the mana surge for the kill into a 50% buffed minefield. Certainly an interesting strat. Definitely people could play around you there and then you're kind of losing your your gimmick. Yeah, this would be the one I'd run. Just for the power, you lose a bit of speed, but Oh, there's plenty of other stuff that has that combo, but do you think that's the standout one? Yeah, anyway, I've kind of rambled on enough. Maybe I'll try and pull off that combo. Um, certainly sounds fun. We've got 50% buffs, minefield. It certainly appeals to me, so um, I'll probably be giving that a go soon. So yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. I'll debate putting the um, Family Familiar videos up it's just because they are a lot like kind of this one we've just seen where it's not much balance in the teams you're facing they often kind of run away halfway through the batter a lot straight away at the start so it's the quality isn't there so yeah i do kind of feel that the quality needs to be there for them but may maybe um it also gives you a chance to kind of play around with some of these fun slightly more fun teams but yeah anyway cheers for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video